So you want to change out your old thermostat to a new smart thermostat, but you have no C common wire. Watch this video to find out the different ways to obtain a C wire that will help you power your new smart thermostat. With new smart thermostats, you quickly find out that they don't take regular batteries and need to be hardwired in order to supply power to the thermostat. In order to understand why we need the C wire, we need to understand how a traditional thermostat works. Traditional thermostats were simple devices and worked without dedicated power and with only two wires, a red and white wire. When the thermostat called for heat, it would complete the circuit and turn on the boiler. Traditional thermostats are just simple switches, on and off. Newer smart thermostats have a lot more features and do a lot more than act as a simple on and off switch. All these new features require more power from the thermostat and for that you need dedicated circuit. In addition to the red and white wire, an additional wire is required for the common C wire. Electricity constantly flows from the RC or RH wire to the C wire. The C wire is like a neutral wire in AC. This circuit supplies power to the thermostat and charges the thermostat's internal battery. It's important that before we begin, we turn off power to the HVAC equipment. So here we have a simple battery operated thermostat that I will be replacing with an S thermostat. The first option we have is to use the green fan wire or look for our unused wire. So I did remove the wires um, from the terminals here. You can see what I have. I have a green, two reds and two whites. So the way this works is the green is the G wire and that's for a fan. And then you have uh, an RH and an RC for the reds. Uh, this one right here is uh, the RH, which is the heat. So this one right here is for the cooling. And then you have the Y right there uh, for the cooling as well. And then you have the W, which is right here for the heat. What's missing here is a common wire, which I don't have. Where it says fan right here, you can use it on auto. And what that does is circulate the air. Um, I never use this feature, so I could technically take this uh, fan wire for the AC and use that as my common wire. Of course, you know you need to label it here on the other end. But you could use this, right? You could use this for your common wire because this is just the fan that controls the fan. And really what the fan does, it just really circulates the air in your house. Um, the non-air conditioned air in your house is basically all that is. And a lot of people, what they do is they go ahead and borrow this, uh, this green wire, this uh, G wire or fan wire. And basically a thermostat, all it's doing is creating a circuit. So when you go ahead and call for heat, what happens is this um, red wire here, the RH, and the, the W wire, which is right here, they connect together. They bridge together and they call for heat. That's all it is. Okay, so let's see. We're going to take this out here, this thermostat, and see what we have. So I'm looking at this, and we have two sets of wires. And this is for the heating right here, this wire, and then this wire is for the cooling. The reason that is, is because I have a baseboard heat. Um, one system handles the baseboard heat, and then a separate system handles the um, the AC. Okay, so you can see on here we have three wires coming out of this, uh, this bundle of wires right here. And then we have two. But if you look closely here, like I just did, we actually have three wires. And you can see the green in there. You can see it right here, so I'm going to go ahead and use that as a C wire. The C is clearly labeled and uh, the RH is labeled on here as well. So basically you want to look on your transformer to see where the common wire is, where the C label is. And if you test the C label to the RH wire on the boiler side, you should get about 24 to 27 volts of electricity. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this green wire that's coiled up here. That would usually go to the fan. I'm going to plug that into the C terminal and that's how I'm going to get my common. And this is going to give me a complete circuit between the RH and the C wire, about 24 to 27 volts of AC. So here I'm going to turn on the electricity to the boiler and then we're going to test with a voltmeter. And it's reading about uh, 26.9 to 27 volts, which is fine. Your second option is to use an external transformer in addition to your existing HVAC transformer. These external transformers can plug directly to an AC outlet and convert 120 AC to 24 volts DC. As you can see, they have two leads from the transformer that will plug into your smart thermostat 
On the unused R terminal, usually one wire goes to the RC terminal and the other wire goes to your C terminal. The drawback is that you need an AC outlet near the thermostat and the wires are visible. However, this is the easiest and quickest way to power the smart thermostat. If you can't use the G wire, don't have an unused wire, this is your fastest and most direct way of doing this. Your third option is an add a wire kit. The most popular being Venstar add a wire and FastStack Common Maker. These devices basically work by turning the function of one wire into two, allowing you to make two wires into three and so on, usually allowing you to free up a wire to be used for the common C wire. The manufacturers of these kits have directions online and it's really not that difficult to follow the directions and get this working. The Ecobee 3 smart thermostat comes with an add wire kit. The Nest does not, although the Nest will pulse on the RH and W wires and try to steal power in order to keep its internal battery charged. Again, you can see how the add wire kit accomplishes the addition of a C wire by allowing one wire to do the job of two wires. On some installations, this will allow you to free up the C wire bypassing the wire kit altogether. Option four is to run a new thermostat wire with the right amount of wires needed. This option is probably the most labor intensive, but it's not that hard to do. You could get another thermostat wire, okay, not one that has uh, all the wires that you need that has a C wire, and basically you would tape it here at the end, and then on the other end where you have your furnace or your AC, you would just pull it through. Feed a new wire through basically is what you would do. Okay, so here we are in the attic. So as you can see, we got the wire uh, all the way up. You can see the brown wire right there, and then where it was taped, and then the white wire that was there before. So now that I have the brown wire, which is this one I'm holding in my hand, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, transfer it to over here where the connections are. Uh, the blue wire right here is the common. Uh, this is the RC right here. This is the fan, and that's the, the white one is the yellow. So here I have the uh, new wire and I already went ahead and took some of the insulation off and I coiled up one of the white wires here because I'm not going to use that. Basically just going to use these right here. So basically I'm going to match what's here on the new wire here, on the new thermostat wire to these connections that are here. Now on some of the AC units you might have uh, actual terminals on here. It's just a wire nut. Um, there is, the transformer is in here. But I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do what they did here, just wire nut it together and uh, that should be all set now that I have the common wire uh, which is this blue wire right here. So here's what I did so far. The new wire is this one right here and I basically connected like the old wire was which is this white wire right here. So uh, blue goes to blue. Uh, this white here goes to the contactor on the, con the condenser. Just basically if you don't know what they are, connect it back the same way it was. Thank you for watching. Check out my channel and subscribe for more videos.